our gingerbread ladies and gentlemen. Gingerbread ladies and gentlemen. Two thirds cup canola oil, one cup light brown sugar, half a cup dark brown sugar, half a cup of molasses, half a cup of almond milk, one teaspoon of vanilla, four cups all-purpose flour, one teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon nutmeg, one teaspoon of ground cloves, pinch of allspice, half a tablespoon of cinnamon, one tablespoon of ground ginger. I loved these from the beginning because you had the little gingerbread They're so cute. With the little bow tie <laughs> yes. and the little woman. Oh, I love that. And the spices in that. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. That'd be wonderful. So for this, you put the almond milk, mm -hmm. the canola oil, and the vanilla, mm -hmm. and the molasses nice. into a bowl. That's going to give good flavor. I like that. Yes, and it gives it the nice dark rich color as mm -hmm. well. Nice. All right, and you make sure that's combined really well. So you give it a good stir. Mm -hmm. These need to be combined really well before you add all of the dry okay. ingredients. Okay. And the molasses takes a little while to... A little, mm -hmm. a little. Yeah, mm. so you can see it's starting to change color there. It can. Smells good. Yes. I love that molasses. So just try to get it there so you can spin the bowl around as mm -hmm. well to get some extra. Or you can use a... Um, a mixer on a low speed mm -hmm. if you want to speed up the process. So as you can see, that's more oh, or less yeah, combined. Then you basically dump in everything else. Okay. So... Will it come there? There she goes. Ginger, all your spices. Boy, they sure smell good. They do. <laughs> Now you want to do, are they portioned separately for purposes of sugars? Just so that you can see. Okay, that's all. perfect. I don't know if we're saving one for later. No, no. That was just so that we could see all the ingredients had been taken okay. into consideration. Just give this a quick stir. Nice. So as you can see, it's quite mm. wet there because we haven't it added is. the flour as mm -hmm. yet. Um, and then we will add the flour. If you want to put flour. the flour in for me, please. All of it or just Yeah, the bit whole lot. Okay. There you go. Now, as we mix that there, you do a lot of vlogging. I do. So tell us about that. Because you're, you know, when you appeal, we said the unchurched or the, um, the secular mindset. When yes. you're trying to appeal to that, um, people are really into social media and all of that. So Well, I was inspired by Ellen White, mm -hmm. Ellen G. White, Sister White, who spoke about spreading the gospel using all of the um, modern technology yes. that is available to take the gospel around the world. So I... Um, I have a YouTube channel called Curly Sue, K-I-R-L-Y hyphen Sue, mm -hmm. Curly Sue, and I have lots of video, recipe yes. videos on there. Oh, so people can go and they can, they yes. can watch how to, how to prepare how to the put, food and how to do it. That's yes. great. I but, like that. But I was looking at how can I help more people? How can I get more people to know that help is available mm -hmm. when you go into a plant-based diet by coming to Curly Sue's Kitchen? So yes. I was reading about vloggers. So a vlog is basically like a blog, which is a, <laughs> back in the day that would have been called a diary. So yes. it's gone from written to video. Yes. Well, written in a printed book, which would be the diary. To written, to written, written online, on a website. Which is a blog. Yeah, which is a blog. <laughs> but then if you make it into a video, that's called a vlog. Wow. And I've been vlogging since I've been here. I've been meaning to do it and kind of feeling slightly overwhelmed, thinking, oh, it's quite a difficult thing to do. <laughs> Is it difficult to do? No. No? Okay. So, well, hold that thought. Let's just move on to this and then we'll keep going with how it's yes. so, so you mix it all. Yes. Then you put it into the fridge in some, what do you call this? Uh, I we call, call it saran it, wrap. Saran wrap. Cling wrap. Cling wrap. Uh -huh. We call it cling film. Okay. Um, and you put it into the um, fridge mm -hmm. for an hour or two okay. to let it set a bit and then the extra flour. Oh! We don't have any egg. Well, there's a little bit safe here. Yeah, I don't know fine. if that's enough or not. 
No, I think we dumped it in the mixture. We dumped it. That was my <laughs> that's fault. That's okay. Can right. we make that work? Yeah, that's okay. fine. At home, you would want a little more flour. Yeah, but this is fine for okay. now. We're just showing you. Then you roll it out. Nice. Okay. Yeah. It can be a little crumbly, so you have to... Be, work with it gently. Yeah, work with it gently. And when you put it into the fridge, then it won't be as crumbly as this one. This hasn't yes. been in the fridge as long. As long as it should be. This okay. is just a demo to show you yeah, how that's we fine. do it. Yeah, It just gives us an idea, which is all we need. So. Absolutely. So you've been vlogging since you came? I started vlogging um, on the morning when we were flying out. Okay. So I started off, I just said, we're on our way. It's 4, it was 4.20 in the morning. Mm -hmm. I said, um, we're on our way to the USA to film the vegan cooking shows. And I've been vlogging every day, sometimes twice a day, depending on what I'm talking about. And people can access that and see that. Yeah. And so we're going to, I'm sorry to hurry you here. Okay. You're going to do shapes. We have different size shapes. Yes. Um, so we have... Yeah. This one. I love it. And then you put them on your baking pan. Yep. Like so. And you bake them at, I'm looking at your recipe here, 350, 350 Fahrenheit, mm -hmm. 160 Celsius That's or gas correct. mark, mark four. 4. Okay. Perfect. And then you bake them for not long, 10 to 12 minutes. Yes, and just keep an eye on them. I love it. And just show us the fruit leather real quick. What would we do after they baked with that? After they baked, where's the scissors? And you while you can, cut, I'm going to eat. Make a little bow tie for the gentleman Aww. one. So you just cut it into a bow tie. So you just cut a triangle out of the bottom, mm. like so. Mm. And then cut another triangle out of the top, like so. Oh, make a bow tie. You can see the final product we have here. We have bow tie, and the little girl has a skirt. Yep, so that's just a little bow tie. I love that. You can Very neaten nice. it up. Mm. Oh, so that's good. Once it's cooked, then you can put like a little <laughs> bow tie on there. Or you can make a little skirt. That's great.